Hey guys, welcome to episode one of Kaylin's Thoughts. So the very first episode, I'm going to start out with how I got into social media, why I wanted to do social media, all that fun and all that judge. So let's get right on into it. So, how I got into social media. I uh, was posting on YouTube on this random channel. It's still up on YouTube because I can't get into the channel because I don't remember the email I used or the password. So those cringy ass videos will on are on YouTube for the rest of my life. It, it haunts me because I was like nine or ten in those videos. And I'm just like, that's so not me now. It, 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 it cringes me whenever I watch those videos. So I never, ever, ever watch them. Unless I feel like... Unless I feel like I want to be cringed out. And then I watch them. But that's only like once every couple of years. So, yeah. But posting fun videos on that channel... And then I made another channel that I that I too, can't talk that I still post on to this day, and that channel is called It's Kaylin. And so I was posting covers on that channel, and then I moved into a different house, and I posted a house tour on that video, and when I and when I posted that house tour, that's like the day that house tour was posted was the day I started taking this YouTube journeys, like super, super serious. And so I like I was posting covers on this It's Kaylin's, It's Kaylin channel. And all those covers are on private. I'm never going to um private them because they're cringy as fuck. So yeah, I'm never going to unprivate those. But so I posted at a house tour and then I started posting more and more and more and it be started becoming funnier and funnier. I was going like live on Instagram like every single day and of course and in those Instagram lives I would play music that got the live like copyrighted almost every single time I went live and I just went live again after they ended my life and they never ban my account they never do nothing but i get notifications on that instagram account that excuse me burped <laughs> blooper but uh i get notifications that those lives are taken down because i say them has like an igtv video back then when i was going live a lot on instagram so i would say them has igtvs and it's like Every couple of weeks, I get a notification from Instagram that's saying that it's been taken down. And I'm like, I, I I, don't care, like, take it down. I mean, it is kind of sad because I did a lot of cool crap on Instagram, on those Instagram lives. And they're just taken down. But uh, I never saved them to, like, a laptop or anything. Like, so if they take it down off of Instagram, they're taken down and I don't have them anymore. They're gone. <laughs> but, uh... So I did that on Instagram. I was posting a lot on TikTok. I was going to school, public school at the time. So there was a couple of TikToks that I would film in class. Because the class I had was <laughs> the very best class. Like the teacher always got onto us. And I'm like, yeah. If other kids are going to be on the phone not being loud and rowdy when we're supposed to be doing the work, I might as well join in on the fun and make a TikTok or two with my friends while I'm at it. So I did that post of the TikTok. I would go back to that TikTok every now and then because it was back when the good old sounds of TikTok were on TikTok. And then a year and a half after that, you know, Corona became a thing. Quarantine happened and then it, uh... 
maybe want to start grinding on social media even more. I mean, I was going to my sister's and then coming back home for like a week or two and then going back to my sister's. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everybody was like, stay home, stay home. But I was going to my sister's and then going back. Like, I don't know how I never, ever, ever, ever caught Corona to this day. I haven't had Corona, not even once. I'm shocked. Like, I don't even have the Corona vaccine shot or anything. And I will say, I will say my thoughts on the Corona vaccine shot on, and if I do have the shot or not for another podcast episode, but, uh, I'm shocked that I never got it. So, uh, going through my sister's grinding on YouTube and then I came back from my sister's and me and my mom, cause I'm 17. Well, I wasn't 17, I was 14 at the time, so, and I'm still living with my mom, but, uh, I was still living with my mom back then too. So, uh, came back, my mom was moved, we were moving out of uh, a house I really, really, truly hated that, uh, a couple of months ago, the landlord told that house, completely tore that house down. That's how bad that house needed to be gone. I think what she's doing to it is rebuilding it, I don't know, I drive past it all the time and that's how I knew it was tore down. And I never see anything being done to it. I just see that it was tore down. But, uh, we moved into a new house. And that's when I posted the house tour video. And I'm still in that same house today. But, uh... It's been quite a journey with you two. I mean, there have been lots of times. I mean, like, up to a couple of weeks ago, I was going to quit doing social media altogether. I was going to completely quit it. Because I've been doing the social media for like three, four years now. And like, I am growing slowly, but at the time, I was not growing at all. Like a month and a half ago, I was not growing at all. And I recently, some miracle of a something, my channel started to grow more and it still continued to grow to this day. So I'm like, I can't quit. I'm not going to be called a quitter. Plus, I, I knew that I was going to regret quitting. Like, something in my heart was just telling me, keep going, keep going, keep going. Like, yeah, it's going to take for her to grow, but don't pay attention to the numbers and I told everyone on YouTube that I was not paying attention to the numbers. I didn't give a fuck about the numbers at all but in the back of my mind I did care about the numbers like and then I started slowly and slowly and slowly er caring about the numbers more and more and then it got to a point where I had to quit social media because I wasn't growing and I was thinking about the numbers a lot. <laughs> and I was like, I'm never gonna grow. Like I'm never gonna get I'm never gonna get the amount of likes I want, the amount of comments I want, the amount of views I want, the amount of subscribers I want. I'm like, I'm never gonna get there. But I'm starting to now that I I haven't posted the announcement video to my YouTube channel yet because I was like, I told my YouTube channel people that there will be a video coming where I uh, announce whether I'm quitting social media or not, and that video is being posted May 15th. Was I just want to post that video early, just so uh, I can get it off my chest. But I need time to start filming videos again, get back on the grind. So. That's why it's being posted May 15th, like uh, two weeks late, uh, until two weeks. I believe it's two weeks on May 15th, I don't know. But I told myself I'm going to keep going, going, and going. And now I look at the numbers, but I don't even care about the numbers anymore. Like overnight, when I made my decision that I was going to keep going, I 
overnight my feelings about the numbers about caring about what the numbers look like how many views i'm getting how many comments i'm getting changed like my perspective on it changed i don't know how or why it changed but it changed and i'm glad to god it changed because i feel honestly way way better about youtube and doing social media i mean I rarely even post on TikTok because there's always that chance that TikTok gets banned and then I start posting again on TikTok, I start becoming very very active on TikTok and then my luck would be I start becoming very active on TikTok and then it gets banned and I'll be like I started doing posting on TikTok again for basically fucking nothing. I mean I hope TikTok doesn't get banned because I don't have any of my TikToks saved on my phone or a laptop or anything or like a file drive, flash drive, whatever you call those things, nothing. So TikTok does get banned. All my videos, all the TikToks I made, gone. Poof. Gone. I mean, I had another TikTok account, then I, uh, it's still up, but I made another one and that's the one I post on whenever I do feel like posting. Because I felt like I, that TikTok was become like, I don't know, I just felt like it was time for me to make a new TikTok, so I did that like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, and I haven't looked back on the old TikTok. I mean, I go back to it every now and then and watch the TikToks I posted on the TikTok. I still have access to it. I know the password and email to it. So if I wanted to start posting on that TikTok randomly again, I could, but uh, I just felt like I would need to start a new one, like new page, new like just new TikTok. So that's what I did. But uh, these podcast these podcast episodes are going to be between zero minutes long and uh maybe forty five minutes long. But this first episode. I just wanted to give y'all a taste of what the episodes are going to be like. So this one's going to be cut short. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. A hint of what I'm going to be talking about in episode 2 is my celebrity crushes. I am bisexual, just put that out there. So I have crushes on boys and girls, women, men, all that jazz. So, I'll see y'all in episode 2 where I'm talking about my celebrity crushes and I cannot wait. I know you can't wait for me to talk about my celebrity crushes. But, I hope you enjoyed episode 1 and the taste of what the episodes are going to be kind of like. I'll see y'all in episode 2. Peace.